Now the first event is a heavyweight contest, six rounds, five minutes each round, two falls, two submissions and one KO to decide the winner. In the blue corner, from Chatham, John Carlo. And in the red corner, from Portsmouth, Bob Kirkwood. And to referee, ladies and gentlemen, on for all occasions, the one and only Tony Manselli. Hello again, Grapple fans. Good afternoon. And your first preliminary contest here at Mid Heavyweight. And the start of this program here this afternoon, Bob Kirkwood of Portsmouth versus John Carlo of Rochester. Kirkwood at 14.6, Carlo at 14.9, so both well within the Mid Heavyweight upper and lower limits. Six five-minute rounds, two falls, two submissions or a knockout to decide the winner. Easily identifiable here, the tall boy with the long blonde hair and the snazzy trunks. John Carl from Rochester. And the much better known face, of course, of Bob Kirkwood from Portsmouth. There he is holding the arm lock on Carlo. And referee Tony Mansully. Really held that arm lock then. Carlo hoping he'd uh, force to release it, but no chance at all. <laughs> trying to go right over the top, but he's trying to head scissors on the way. Probably won't work for him. No, arm lock still there. All the way over the top, or use the top rope to do a backflip, or the referee's shoulder to do a backflip, that's possible. All the way over, that's it, and he's out. Into a double handed wrist lever by Carlo. Dangerous head mare to try by Kirkwood there. Does that lever very definitely on still? Oh, nice turn, very nice turn. Gets the arm lock at the end of it. So it's Carlos' try at an arm lock now. See if he can hold it as long as Kirkwood did. Doesn't want it. Front head chance for instead. Oh. Couple of minutes left in round one of six, and remember two falls aside this contest. Grab it by Carlo, changing to the side head chancery with both arms the same side of the head. As you notice there, one should be one side, one the other. Oh, nice turn, Kirkwood. That's where his experience counts. Flipped on that back hammer very quickly. One, two, 
One minute to go, and the first time that Tony Manasale has had a counter pinfall. Gets as far as two twice, but not good enough. Kirkwood forced to release. Grab into a torn ankle. Kirkwood. He Let's hope it stays as sporting as this. Both men uh, enjoying their bout at the moment. Each time they lose a, a counter move, a grin comes back on the face. Let's hope it stays that way. Just eight seconds. Bob Kirkwood of Portsmouth, 14 stone six, right in the middle of the mid heavyweight bracket. We first saw him way back in uh, the late 60s who came over from the opposition promoters. That's why, although he's been uh, in the wrestling game for quite some time, we never saw him until about 68. One year I'm to experience only, that was in Singapore, turned pro in the early 60s. Quite a guy, this fellow, and I think he's shown in the first round, and will do in ensuing rounds more. Set of the way, and round two. Round two, Kirkwood's problem here maybe is a little bit of uh, height against him. But Carlo, this very, very tall boy at 14 stone nine from Rochester, going to give him a little bit of trouble here. This blonde boy with the, uh, the uh, flashy trunks. Yeah. Round two, five to go, and two falls to decide this preliminary contest at mid heavyweights. Kirkwood versus Carlo. Carlo back to canvas. In the head scissors. At least he's got his shoulder blades off. But he's still in the head scissors. Spending a lot of energy trying to get out of that. His third effort coming up. Different way this time. And might separate the knees. Yes, he has. By grabbing that uh, toe hold and the figure four leg lock. Nice work there, Carlo. going in with that curious now that's better now he's got one arm each side of the head in the orthodox side headlock or rather chancery They're both trying an almost identical hold and a stalemate agreed to Carlo going for a double arm over the top for a shoulder press. Nicely tried. Couldn't hold that right arm of Kirkwood's though. Double-handed wrist lever again to Carlo. The third one got him out. Start of the third roll. He was clear. Well, that's what Kirkwood received just now, giving his own back. A couple of minutes left, round two. Both going for the same again. Not 
quite sure whether to release. Make sure the other one releases first. <laughs> uh, so if they both don't change their minds in the same direction. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, that's a great attacking move by Kirkwood. Back elbow to the stomach following the finger of the lock and a tremendous uppercut forearm. Follow up with a stranglehold now to Kirkwood in the dark trunks. Just under a minute left in the second. Kirkwood. <laughs> yes, he finally broke it and the cross buttock completed the counter. Just five seconds. This boy, John Carlo from Rochester at 14 stone nine. The first time we saw him was uh, October of last year. A couple of years amateur experience, turned pro in 1969, full time. His ambition, of course, is the mid heavyweight title held at the moment by Mike Marino, the man that trains with the weights. That's, of course, lots of wrestling. Very up and coming boy, this, and could be one of the greats in the heavyweight class soon. Away and, round three. and the start of this third round, four rounds to go, no score, two falls, two submissions or a knockout to decide this winner, Carlo versus Kirkwood. Kirkwood face down now in the black trunks. Tony Mansell has had practically nothing to do so far this bout. Just one or two pinfall counts that didn't come to anything. Caught, caught in his own try. Bad luck, Kirkwood holding on like grim death there, but he's got it. In just 48 seconds from the start of round three. First one to Kirkwood. And the voice there you heard of our uh, Master of Ceremonies, Charlie Fisher, start on the right of your screen there. So three rounds to go as we start round four any second. Mm -hmm. 